The Grade 3 Hollywood Bets Dolphins Cup trial is the last opportunity for Hollywood Bets Durban July hopefuls to book a berth in Africa's greatest race come the first Saturday in July. With the winner guaranteed a place, there's everything to race for, and this year is no different. Racing loves an exciting horse, and one that's waiting in the wings is Grade 3 politician stakes winner, Rockpool. Rockpool is going to land the gamble. He's a very exciting horse. So we looked at the different seasons and what he could run in. So in the summer, all the big races are pretty much wait for age. So as a young horse, he'll never, ever come into a race like this again with 54 and a half. So we decided let him have the education. We'll see how he goes in this. He's a very exciting horse for me. I've, I haven't seen a horse move like this in, in a long time. But it doesn't matter if you don't have the engine inside. It's going to be interesting. Uh, certainly a big one for the stable in the future if he can show that he handles the track. Uh, the, you need a turn of foot in the short running. So these are all things that we, we're looking at on Saturday and then learning from it. So. I think anyone that loves horses watches horses action. It's mind blowing. So I'm, I'm hoping that he. Can, oh, for me, the biggest thing is him coming out of this race okay. Obviously, the grass on Topoli is always a bit of a concern, um, and uh, uh, I just hope that all goes smoothly. Um, and he's a horse that we'll be watching in the future. Shoemaker's won three from 14 to 1600 meters. But Shoemaker gets the better of light of day. He ran four lengths behind See It Again in the Daily News 2000 last time out. Aldo uh, recommended blinkers after last time, which is something I've been thinking about for a while, but sort of have been reluctant to try them. But we, we'll try them Saturday because we've got nothing to lose. Um, I thought he ran a very good race. He now gets given four kilos should he get into the July bar. The horses that ran in front of him. I mean, four kilos is enough to swing that form, but he doesn't get a mention in the July uh, dispatches and the and the log. So um, that's a bit tough because he, you know, he would be a runner at the bottom end of the weights because you know with the three-year-olds now, it'll be very hard for them to win. So um, he probably has to be all over them Saturday uh, to catch somebody's eye uh, because I believe it. If he runs well Saturday, he deserves a place, uh, especially the fact that he now has the weight advantage to turn it on the horses that have beaten him. Grade 2 Johnson Workwear Dingons winner Union Square had a good prep and a progress plate when going the mile. Yeah, he's drawn well, he's having his third run after a rest. I was pretty happy with his last start, he had a bit much to do, came on late. This is more his ground, 18 plus. Um, he's fit, he should be right there as well. Winchester Mansion was impressive in the World Sports Betting 1900 despite receiving two and a half kgs from the winner, Pakaya. Pakaya won it, Winchester Mansion, Rascalian. Winchester Mansion is in uh, very, very good form this horse. He's travelled back well from Durban. Uh, he's settled back in nicely. His work's improved quite a bit since his last start and he's come on quite nicely. Uh, he is a horse with a few niggles, but um, he's in a very good place right now. I couldn't actually be happier with him. And um, from draw five with 55 and a half kilos on his back, I think he's definitely going to be a big runner on the day. It is quite a tough field with the likes of some strong three-year-olds and some older horses in the race. But um, this is uh, also a make or break race for him as to whether he's going to get it in July. So, um, yeah, I think he's definitely a big run on the day and um, I wouldn't leave him out. Cape, Eagle, the outside, Cape Eagles Pakaya won six from 15, finishing two lengths on. back to Pakaya in the World Sports Betting 1900 outside. when Pakaya stepping up last time go. out. Cape Eagle as they dive past the line. He's been a, a lovely horse to, uh, to work with and he's progressed so nicely in the last uh, 18 months. Um, yeah, his, his run in the Gravel 1900 was, was a good run. He didn't disgrace himself. Things didn't really work out at the, at the pens. Uh, Sean said he was a bit restless and uh, that first 100 metres, he, he took a while to get into the race. And um, look, he is a natural horse that likes going forward and uh, obviously he can be a bit, bit aggressive and Sean was worried they didn't want to stir him up too quickly. and. Uh, he got into a good position and uh, he stayed on well against against good opposition. So we know we know now that he can stand up to to a decent field. And obviously this weekend's field is very competitive again. You've got the likes of Rockpool and 
Winchester Mansion, so yeah. that'll be the standouts, but uh, I don't think he'll dis disgrace himself again. Kwasi for sure is a five-time winner from 14 to 1600 metres, with his only unplaced run coming in the World Sports Betting 1900 four weeks ago. Peter Musket explains. Uh, yeah, we changed his gear slightly, took his tongue tie off because he appeared to be resenting it, and he didn't do anything right in the run. He missed the break slightly, he got back, he latched on, never, never relaxed the whole run and Tristan had to get him wound up and sort of into his, going through his gears quite early because uh, he, he was at the tail end of the field and he looped them. Came to the outside fence and although he finished off his run okay, I think the early exertions told late. I've reverted back to the tongue tie for Saturday. He does appear to settle better with it on. He's drawn better this time so he should get a a much cosier run round, hopefully one out, one back. Uh, he does need a little bit of a gallop to, an, to assist in him settling. There is a, a natural front run in the race, but I couldn't be happier with the horse. He's, he's in a great space, he's fit, he looks magnificent, he's great in his action. So let's hope he bounces back on Saturday. A further runner coming through from the World Sports Betting 1900 is previous Grade 3 Victory Moon Stakes winner, Litigation. I'm very happy with litigation's preparation into this race. He has a decent draw and Gavin knows him well. We do carry a bit of weight, uh, giving most of the competitors weight, but we have met them before and there shouldn't be too much in it. I'm expecting him to be competitive. The first of Glenn Cotson's coupling, the four-time winner, Flying Bull, looks to be coming to hand. Second will go to Flying Bull. You know, we've had a couple of hiccups with him, so he had a brilliant, brilliant uh, first run in the province. We ran second to the stable companion, um, Lord William, and I think um, uh, he got tackled by one of the riders quite early, and they overdid it for the first half of the race, and said, well, that's him gone. But he came back relentlessly, and um, you know, every stride he was catching the stable companion, so it was a cracking run. Then we had a minor hiccup with him um, and we had carded him and went to scratch him. But I can tell you that his prep going forward from there has been flawless, thank goodness. Um, so this is our last chance to have a crack at the, the July. I mean, he was bought um, by some clients um, off uh, the Paul Peter sale um, for Cape Town for the staying races. Uh, we couldn't get him right in time for that, so we thought we'll start fresh uh, in Natal and give him a break. And uh, I think we've got him in a very good space. He, he's really fit and well. He's moving like a dream. He looks magnificent. Um, I think he'll be drawn about six or seven. Um, he, he, he likes to go up there. So if, if something doesn't dictate, um, he, he'd like to be up there anyway. And I think he's going to run a peach of race. He's coming to the race fresh and, and really, really well. So I'm quite excited. Stable companion to Flying Bull is Lord William, winner of the listed Sledgehammer over 1750 at Hollywood Bet Scottsville in April. That's Lord William, the leader there and won it. Well, Lord William, uh, the other day we ran him in, in a, it was a conditions graduation plate and uh, probably the, the wrong race because the jock ought said, geez, you should have had him in the Daily News today. He said uh, he's just come on so much and he really has, he's, he's really doing well and I know Vaughan thought a, a heck of a lot of him as well and ran all the features in the Cape, but he's just really flourished here in, in, in Durban, so um, I'm, I'm really excited about him. So yeah, we, he's stepping up in class, um, he's got a nice galloping weight, uh, his last run uh, under those conditions giving six kilos to the winner was a very good uh, run uh, and um, his work this morning was phenomenal. So yeah, we've got two real live contenders, but um, there's some lovely, lovely three-year-olds that are trying to get their way into the July as well. I know Brett Crawford's got one, Justin Snow's got one. So it's going to be another exciting race. It's going to be the young against the old again. Um, uh, I've got one that's trying to qualify which, uh, for the July, which is um, a stable companion. And um, it, it was either that or go for the, the derby and the owner said, come on, when are we going to have another run in the July of a crack? Because the runner of this race is guaranteed a run, so it's exciting. The Dean Canamea train Silvano's timer is looking to regain the form that saw him win a merit-rated 106 handicap last November. Silvano's timer, though, has command, and Silvano's timer goes on to win from Somerset Morn. You know, he's off 108, 108, you know, so I'm just trying to place him correctly, but yeah. this is quite a competitive race, and he's not too, too well drawn there. But it's also hard to place him for 108. 
But at his very best, uh, he's also could be in the could be in the shakeup. Uh, his last one, um, I think, were legitimate excuses because he he pulled a shoe in the running of the race and he ripped his whole wall. We had to build it up the next morning, the farrier uh, and things like that. But 1800, that could be his maximum maximum trip. It could be a better horse over over a mile because yeah. last John Gold Cup day won that listed race on a, I think yes. it's a Dali. He, he won it over a mile, uh, and his mother was a sprinter miler. But um, He's got his work cut out, but, uh, but at his very best, he's doing well. At his very best, you know, you can't leave him out to the exotics and that, but it's a very competitive race. Global Impact won a Merrick rated 75 handicap at Turfentine in his last run. Line comes and Global Impact just made it. He's got a lot to find, but as a natural front runner, could well make the pace in the race. I do think in the race, a horse like Winchester Mansion is very, very well weighted. Um, he ran right on top of Pakaya, uh, first run back from Gelding. So if he travels back and forth from Joburg, which the guys have been doing quite um, successfully, uh, he's certainly the horse that I think it, we will fight it out with.